Hey guys, welcome to part 34. Last episode, we found a creepy hotel and a lot of punks. Literally, just punk children. And in proper, and in proper respect, or is that the right term? Um, proper respect. And in all fairness, and what is good and right in the world, I have been, hello, that's cool. I have been utterly destroying them. Which, as you know, is the correct thing to do in this situation. Zappy. Don't die, don't die, don't die, ah, Jaffa! Sorry. I wanted to catch you. I wanted to be your friend, but I only succeed in killing you, so, you know. You know how that goes. Ah! Magneton? How cool is that? Alright, you're pretty bulky, so this hex should probably not kill you. Oh wait, if you start attacking me, you're going to majorly mess with my Drifloon. So I'm actually going to first switch out to Garchomp. Because Garchomp can pretty much take anything Magneton can throw out. Except Mirror Shot. Ouch. Alright then, catch. I'm running out of Pokeballs and stuff. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ding. Yay. Gotcha. Magneton was caught. I don't really get this guy. I mean, he's three Magneton, but he weighs ten times as much as a normal one. A link cluster formed of several Magnemite. It discharges powerful magnetic waves at high voltage. You know, but he is like one of my favorite electric types. A strange black shadow leaped out in panic. It left something behind in the trash can. Oh. That's weird. Dude, kid, what do you think you're wearing? You ain't got no sense of style. You've gained about a million years ahead of yourself if you think you can meet the boss. Think what you may of my looks, but at least I'm honest, I'm telling you. You're not cool at all, just look at you, you gotta take care of yourself. I'm sorry, what? Dude, kid, what do you think you're wearing? You ain't got no sense of style. You get about a million years ahead of yourself if you think you can meet the boss. What? No, I will take you out, son. Well, that's stupid. Fine, I don't need any of your boy band anyway. I didn't want to be one of your little punk people. I think you're all lame. Thought I could kill you all if Pokemon anyway, so who needs you? Yeah, scary face. That was actually kind of a scary face. I don't know, if I woke up with that, like, about to eat me, I'd be pretty freaked out. Other than, you know, the fact that there's his face in the middle of the eye of my bedroom that's trying to eat me. That alone's pretty scary. Ouch. Blip, 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 blip. Okay, bag. Pokeball. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ding. Yes. Gotcha, Ponyard was caught. Jiplum gained all that. Blades comprise his Pokemon's entire body. If battling dulls the blades, it sharpens them on stones by the river. It must be by the river! And also, it's very hard to hug one of the I've always wondered that. Like, I know it's something kind of silly, but it's like, okay, so you see a Ponyard. You're... You're this Ponyard's- Oh my goodness, yes! You're this Ponyard's best friend, you've been with him for years, and you want to give him a hug. How do you give him a hug? Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die! Memento? What does that do? Ow. Ow. What?! What?! Did you just kill yourself on me?! You 
little jerk. It's trash can. In case you haven't figured it out, it's a trash can. Alright, forget that place. Nope, not going for it. I'm getting out of here. Hello. What nice what's nice about windmills is they can be moved by a breeze and in a pinch by people or Pokemon. I hear your future is secure if you join Team Flare. What? I'm sorry, what? Wow, it's snowing! Aw, oh, snow! Welcome. Move up, because it's just Fireball. How about some for your journey? I'll pass. Please buy another time. I like how she seemed really creepy at first. It's like, welcome. Buy some milk. I'm like, okay, sure. All right, let's get Venusaur out since I've kind of been neglecting him. Just because, you know, I don't really got many moves for him to learn. Okay, deposit. Deposit our dear friend Blaziken. Withdraw our dear friend Venusaur. Okay, go here. Bye. Let's see. Pokeballs. I like 50. Yeah, I like some Ultra Balls just in case I can see a legendary. And some Great Balls just because. I'm actually going to speed this up while I do a little shopping. Alright, good. Who are you? Use a citrus berry here on this Pokemon. I thank you. I'll save someone who might be stranded in the mountains. What? Okay, never mind. Hmm, something nasty is afoot in the frost cavern. Ooh, something nasty. I love things that are nasty. That means I can go save people. Doo doo bike. Something about the word lost always piques my interest. Lost Woods, Lost Leisure, this way. Why, hello, Max. Oh, hello. How have you been? How's your journey going? You see, when I was younger, I visited many different regions as well. I met many kinds of Pokemon and noticed how each place has its own distinct flavors. So I really came to enjoy trying new foods as I traveled. Because of my adventures, I'm an expert on the cafes all over Kalos. Come down, Dexy. I'm going somewhere with this. Do you remember the Pokemon Lissandre message mentioned in that cafe? Um, <coughs> I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, he was talking about the legendary Pokemon. Xerneas! According to the tale I've read, those who saw it were overwhelmed by its power. They were only able to say that this Pokemon resembled the letter X. But this Pokemon can control energy. It gives life energy to plants and Pokemon and makes them full of vitality again. Wherever do you think a Pokemon that amazing could be now? When Cal's legendary Pokemon loses all of its vitality, it goes to sleep in a secret place. I don't have a clue where it'd be. The writings I mentioned are also around thousand years old, so they aren't much help. Old things are helpful. It'd be absolutely astounding if you found it, Max. Maybe I'll look into the legend a bit. If I find something, I'll let you know. Ah, oh, it would be a thrill if you found it indeed. But your journey is yours and your Pokemon's alone. I want you to enjoy yourself and do whatever you like. You're such a nice guy. Is the professor gone already? I was hoping to have him have a look at my Pokedex in person. Oh well, I guess I'll give my Pokedex to evaluate my Pokedex PC. Anyway, I'm heading off to go look for Pokemon in the Frost Cavern and fill up more of my Pokedex. Where am I going? I don't know. Water flows in and the swimming Pokemon looks so comfortable. What's that? Ooh, big root. That's pretty cool. It boosts moves like Giga Drain. When I'm working in the fields and plowing soil, I feel like part of nature. Much in here. Everybody calls me Madam Reminder. I know I've removed that Pokemon lure while they're leveling up. And I can make- Ooh! Ooh! Uh... I mean, let's just take a look-see. Let's see. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, let me. I'm gonna speed up through this, see if I can find any cool moves I want them to remember. So just give me a second.
Well, this is awesome. All right, I'm done now. I decide I only have one hard scale, so I decided to give Greninja Night Slash. But there's a lot of other good moves I could have got given my guys too. But I don't have enough hard scales. So it takes miles like windmills. Ah, I mean destiny. Mailsoy is amazing. He lived in 10,000 years, frozen in ice, just like Captain America. What? Well, never mind. What am I doing? I don't know. No, I didn't want to do that. Well, that's very cool. Let's go in here. Yeah, if I get more hard scales, I'm definitely going to have to go back and talk to him. Do you have a TM for Call Mind? This is Picade. Um, thank you. Doubles his power if the user is poisoned, badly poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. Well, that's pretty cool. Oops. No, no. So tell me, is there like, a, is there a gym in this place? Is there anywhere else I get heart scales? I need 50 million heart scales right now. How many similarities do you think Tidemo and Mothra share with each other? Not very much, actually. Some people like big bugs, and some people like them smaller. Size really comes down to personal preference. Eh. So I saw a huge gorgeous. Gorgeous? What's that? Eh, never mind. Your what's it here? You have a Pokédex. If you find 70 or more, I'll give you something cool. Okay. So bad guys are all like, we'll take over the world, but I think it would be really hard to look after everybody. It is, but you know, the power you get through it makes it worth it. Okay, let's try this way. Bax, where are you going? Frost Cavern, that's where I'm going. Burr, it's so cold! You there, you came at just the right time! Let's war our bias on some vigorous Pokemon Madeline! I'm sorry, what? Hiker Ross, sent out by Brava! By Brava, isn't that a- oh, never mind. Aw, oh, it's so cool. Wait, it's starting to hail? I don't got any ice types, so that's gonna be... Like, bad. Bleh! Wait, you're level 44? You're actually pretty high level. Ouch. But I got leftovers, and that makes it okay. Hex. Bajoo. Aw, oh, death. Go Venusaur! Oh, you're only level 45? That stinks. See, Synthesis. And I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I give up. Is this cold I feel coming from the snow and ice around me or from the shame of my defeat? The deuce. Do I don't like... See, I don't like how the theme song changes. Oh, hello! Hey! No, hey! Yes, I, wa I want a mask. I my wings cut through the snow, up, up, and away! Oh, wait. What? Carnivine! How does Carnivine get up here? Okay, fly! Shoot him! Ouch. But how does Carnivine get up here? I'm fairly certain he doesn't flow. Eat it, Carnivine. Ouch. But that I get healed. Swana? Oh, Egad. Thunderbolt! Zappy! Take that! 
Yay, Driplim! Your wings are cutting their way through the sky and into the future time travel through wing flying! Hello! That's a mammoth swine. Is something wrong in the frost cavern? Sweet, sweet. Hey, what's up? Are you heading to the frost cavern, trader? The mammoth swine here usually can't get enough of giving people rides around 17, but these days it seems to be worried, too worried about something in the frost cavern to give rides. They also has a Pokemon that loves cold climates, so maybe he has said something amiss in the Frost Cavern. And you are? My name is Trevor. I'm a genius. I'm researching the distribution of Pokemon in the Chaos Reach at Professor Sycamore's request. I see, so that's why you're walking clear out to the Frost Cavern then. They also seems concerned about something other, so be careful. I will, thank you. What are you going to do, Max? I'm going to prepare for my expedition. Okay. Nope. Do do do. See, now I can hear the theme song. Come on, Bamboo Swine. Give me a ride. Okay, fine. Don't give me a ride. Curses, it's all the way down there. You! Stop right there, youngster. I'm going to paint your portrait. Don't budge an inch. But first, I'm going to battle you, which will make you budge an inch. Sir, I'm, I'm trying not to move. Please, don't battle me. No, no, I'm going to battle you. Uh, okay, fine, then. Better Thunderbolt. Zappy. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, oh, bad. But ow, ow, pain, 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 death. Ouch. But hey, at least I get healed that little bit. Oh, wait, oh, no, no, no. Uh, waste. Curses. I'm sorry, Drip Limb. That was my fault. Okay. Fight Thunderbolt. Take that, Smeargle. I told you not to budge an edge. Well, you should have started to attack me then. Look, if you didn't attack me, I wouldn't have budged an inch. Okay, let's keep going. Picture, real quick. Take a photo. Alright, sorry about that. I just like getting memories, memories. What's up? Eh, forget it. What? No roller skating? Cool. Say no roller skating, no bikes. You can't tell me what to do, man. Ah! I do whatever I want. Hello! A wild bergmite! Oh, you're a fairy! I remember you! Don't die. If I remember correctly, you're like a complete tank. Oh dear, oh ow! Okay, I better get Drip Limb out of there. Oh wow! Drip Limb, I'm getting you out of there! But first, I gotta catch this bergmite! Max, I'm dying! What about the bergmite, Drip Loon? Max, death! No, no, I'm gonna catch this bird, right? Trust me, it's a great idea. Max, I'm gonna die, and it's gonna be your fault. Gotcha, Bergmite was caught. Yeah. It blocks the opponent's attacks with the ice that shields its body. It uses cold air to repair any cracks with new ice. No, I'm good. Oh! Hey there, you look pretty strong. I'd be missing out if I let you go without a battle. Hold on, my Pokemon's like almost dead. No, no. You're charged with Ace Trainer Cordelia. No, hold on, my Pokemon died. Whoa. Oh, wow. A Dewblade. That's pretty cool. You're just about as big as I am. 
I remember correctly, you're a ghost steel. So this should really mess up your day. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, 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 stop, 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 stop! Oh, phew. Okay. X. Destroy him! Wow, that was kind of bad. You beat Ace Trainer Cordelia. Oh, that was close. Just a little bit more, and I would have won. Yeah, you're right. You would have. Except, you know, I have five other Pokemon, but you know. All right. So the next episode, let's see what that one Mammoth Swine was. I'm gonna train you. And yeah, three of my guys are really bad against ice, so this is gonna be a bit of an issue. So in the next episode, let's see what that mammoth song is freaking out about this cave. So, see you then!